Hey guys, it's Alyssa from AlyssaNalani.com. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be prepping my Power Sheets tending list for the month of December. Now, if you've been following my channel here for some time, then you know that this has been my first year to use Power Sheets, and it quickly became my absolute favorite planning tool, hands down, by far. I will use them as long as they continue to make them, and it has just earned its place as a standard in my planning stack. So I've really enjoyed using them. If you have not ever used Power Sheets, I highly suggest that you check them out and um, just make the choice to use them in 2021. I wish that I hadn't waited so long to use them because I knew about them for a while before I made the purchase, but I highly suggest that you get some for 2021. I already have mine um, picked out and purchased and waiting for me to set up for January. This is the Clear Skies cover. It's gorgeous. And if you want to flip through of it, I did a live flip through on launch day and it is linked in the description box below if you want to check that out. And um, if you want to just go ahead and check out the 2021 collection, it is also linked down below in the description box. So be sure and check that out if you haven't made your Power Sheets purchase. Now I'm going to skip over the prep work pages for December. So this page and this page, I'm going to skip over them because I've already sketched out what I want to work on in December. So I'm just going to work off the list that I've already made here in my full focus planner. So I'm going to be working off of that and just kind of refining it as I copy it onto to my attending list. Now I do just want to apologize. You're going to be hearing power tools in the background. Um, my husband's working in the garage and I'm recording and it's the only time both of us have to get this done. So I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that I can fix some of that in post when I'm editing and that it's not too much of a distraction. So I'm going to go ahead and record and hope for the best. All right, so first what I do is I start with my monthly action items. Now, of course, when you're um, prepping your tending list, you want to make sure and review your previous tending list and just make sure that you don't have anything that you need to take action on from that list. So nothing that you have to mark down as, you know, progress, nothing you have to um, pull forward into this tending list, um, nothing you have to delegate to somebody else or even just cross off as not relevant anymore. You want to make sure that nothing's falling through the cracks and that you've reviewed that, um, that tending list thoroughly. So I've already done that and I have made my list in my planner accordingly, um, you know, according to that information and we're just gonna move forward. So monthly action items. Now, December is gonna be full of prep work <laughs> for, for the new year. And so there's gonna be a lot of that uh, reflected here in my list. So first off, I need to prep my power sheets. Prep power sheets. for 2021. Yay! I need to prep my full focus planner. So the full focus is the planner that I'm going to be using in 2021. It is, um, it's a planner that I've already shown here on the channel. I did a video on it, an unboxing. Hold on, grab it over here. I did an unboxing uh, last week, I think, and showed the planner that, um, this is the planner that I'm using next year, and this is the planner that I am currently using. So it's a quarterly planner, so you need four of them per year. And so I'm using this one um, to finish out this year, and then this is the one that's waiting for me uh, for the first quarter of next year. So if you want more information on that, you can check out that video. I have it linked down below. So that's the full focus planner. I'm gonna to need to get that prepped for the new year. And then, let's see, so I wrote, wrote that down, I wrote that down. Oh yes, I need to prep my content calendar. Okay, for the new year, that's implied. <laughs> I also need to, Oh yes, I need to plan and write the Club 119 um, January scripture writing plan. Whoops. Okay, it's abbreviated. Club 119 January scripture writing plan. That's for work. I need to, 
Let's see. I, I, sometimes I forget how many lines there are, and I always want to make sure that I didn't write more than what this space will fit. So, okay, yeah, here we go. I need to um, prep, not plan, I need to prep. Get my white out. Do, do, do. I need to prep. my reading life planner. I think I did a, a video of my reading life planner earlier this year. At least I want to say I did. I cannot remember. This was not the best reading year for me, not because I didn't get a lot of reading done, but because I read more for quantity over quality. And so there were a lot of books that I wanted to read that I just didn't read because I was so stressed about meeting my, um, my, uh, reading goal, like the number of books I wanted to read. And so the quality level of what I read really took a dive and I wasn't recording things. I wasn't writing reviews. I wasn't rating stuff very well. So I wasn't really using my reading life planner. And next year I want to flip the script and, and focus more on quant quality over quantity. So I need to get that prepped and I'll have some, um, some, some video stuff. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do, but I'll have some videos, um, showing how I'm doing that. So you can look forward to that hopefully soon. Okay, so my reading life planner, I also need to, okay, mark that. Um, oh yes, I want to, um, I don't know what verb I'm trying to find. Make, plan, do, shoot, make, um, get. <laughs> what verb? Um, hmm. Make, I guess we're just going to go with make. Make our holiday card. I want to do a holiday card this year. I've My husband and I have never done one, and we've been married almost four years, and it's about time we've done one. Um, So it's either going to be Christmas or New Year's, and so that's why I put holiday instead of Christmas, because I'm not exactly sure if we can swing uh, Christmas in time, but uh, we'll get one of those done. That is that is my goal, to send a Christmas card or a New Year's card. All right, and then let's see, how many lines do I have? One, two, three, four. Okay, yes, we need to do build a better year 2021. Okay, that's going to be a series here on the channel that we need to do. Um, I gotta do, let's see, does that include our prep 2021 Patreon, um, content? I'm gonna be, I have a Patreon already, I just started it not too long ago, and coming the new year, I need to make some changes, and I have just some adjustments that I need to make to it to make it better than what I had originally planned. And I uh, just kind of shift gears with that one. So I need to get that done. And then I need to plan, let's see, plan my 2021 education, education goals. So next year, I really want to focus on more intentional learning and um, specifically taking classes that will help me develop some new skill sets, um, help me brush off some old ones, and just all around help me to develop more as a creator. And so I really want to kind of have a game plan in place and so that I know what direction I'm trying to go in and what I'm trying to accomplish. And speaking of learning online, this is a perfect time to talk about today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. It is the perfect place to explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. And they have a plethora of topics that you can choose from, including illustration, graphic design, creative writing, marketing, productivity, entrepreneurship, and web development, just to name a few. And if you're a lifelong learner like I am, having so many different classes to choose from will make you feel like a kid in a candy store. 
Now, all of this is curated specifically for learning, which means that there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. So you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity leads you. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. Many thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. I hope that you'll visit the link in the description box and check out their amazing variety of classes. I actually have a growing list of classes that I want to take. My problem is definitely going to be trying to figure out which one to start first so I don't overwhelm myself. But at the very top of my list is a class called Creativity Unleashed, Discover, Hone, and Share Your Voice Online. And it's taught by Nathaniel Drew. Um, it looks super good, and I think it's really going to help me um, as I develop and grow as an artist. So I highly recommend that one if you are also creative and you want to share your work online. Now, here's the fun part. For the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click on the link in the description box, you will get a free trial of premium membership so that you can explore your creativity. So run, do not walk to the description box so that you can take advantage of that amazing free trial. All right, I have one more space left here on my list and I think I only have one more item to write down and that is to plan the first quarter content. So that's going to include the blog, the channel, and all the rest. All right, so these are my monthly action items, and <laughs> my goodness, it is a tall order. Um, let's go ahead and label these. So I've got my Inkjoy pens, and we're going to label these according to my color code, which I don't have in front of me, so I'm just going to try to do this off the top of my head. All right, anything work-related is in the light blue. So content calendar, that's light blue. This is light blue. Personal content, I mean, work rather. Personal and work. Okay, anything personal development was this teal color. So this is personal development. Okay. This is personal development. And these are, I don't know if this is self-care. I don't know if I should include my planning life in my self-care or in my personal development. Um, doo -doo -doo. We're gonna call, eh, it really doesn't, it's not, it's not that deep. So we're gonna do that red. And then we are going to, so the holiday card is family or me and, uh, yeah, that's family. So me and Steven. All right. So those are my colors. A lot of blue in there. A lot of blue because a lot of work to get done to end this month off correctly and this year off correctly. Okay. So weekly action items. I only have three actually because um, I'm going to be, I'm going to be easy on myself because <laughs> there's so much to do up here. So we need to pay on our credit card. Um, my husband and I have a card that we just keep for just certain kinds of purchases. Um, we mostly do not use credit cards for just everyday stuff, but we do have a bit of a balance on one of them and we need to pay that down um, because our overall goal is to be debt free, which we are pretty much except for that card that we use every so often. And then my school loan, which is um, getting smaller and smaller. Thank the Lord. Okay. Um, I need to post on the blog at least once a week for the rest of the month. And then date night, which actually usually goes at the top of the list, but I did that backwards. So, okay. So date nights in green. A little heart there. The blog is blue. Oop. And the card is yellow. All right. And then last but not least, we have the daily action items. I'm going to scooch this in a little bit so you can see better. Okay, so the daily action items, quiet time. I've been slacking this month, or I'm sorry, in November rather. Quiet time. Actually, it's still November at the time of this recording. I don't know if it'll be November when this posts. But anyway, in November, I was slacking. All right, my AM routine, which I've really been slacking on. 
and my PM routine. It's just, I've just not been strict with myself. Um, my daily chores. and practicing piano. There's a song I wanna learn for Christmas and there's no way I'm gonna be able to do it <laughs> if I don't practice at least every weekday, if not every day. So need to get that done. This is the shortest weekly action items list that I've ever had, ever. <laughs> but again, I'm gonna go easy on myself because this is quite enough. Oh, I will put this. Okay, hold on, how do I wanna phrase this? Um, work on master bedroom. So our master bedroom is the last room. I think I've said this before in previous videos. We have been working on it all year long. Um, actually, this is what my husband's working on right now in the garage. He's working on the desk that he's building for our master bedroom. It's his desk. And so um, that's the last piece of furniture that needs to be made for the bedroom. And so once that's done, we're gonna paint the other two pieces that he, um, that he made along with the desk and then finish off our room. It needs to be reorganized, it needs to be decluttered and um, it just needs to be finished because it's, it's kind of, it's kind of a, a mess. So we're gonna get that done and I am determined to get that done before the end of the year. I do not want to, um, I just don't want to go into the new year with, um, you know, a cluttered master bedroom. All right. So I cannot remember what color home was. Um, 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 I think I redid my goals. Home. Oh, personal development was the dark blue color. I knew I did that wrong. Okay. Not that it's a huge deal. Okay, so personal development is not the teal. Personal development is the dark blue. Okay. <laughs> All right, and then home is the teal. So every week I need to tackle a project in the master bedroom. So that's what I'm going to do. And again, this is the shortest list, but I am super satisfied with it. We're going we're gonna to go with it this way. All right, last but not least, we need to fill up the top. Um, what encouraging words do I have for myself? Man, this is the month of prep work. So how about, it's kind of cheesy, but we're going to go with it. <laughs> prep work makes the dream work. Yep, there we go. Top priority. Um, yeah, I know I'm looking forward, like I'm, we're, with all this prep work, I'm focusing on the future, right? But, let's see, I also don't want that to um, shadow, overshadow the importance of being present during the holiday season. Okay, how about this? There is a song by Keith and Kristen Getty called Don't Let Me Lose My Wonder. And if I remember correctly, it's been a while since I've listened to the song, but it's beautiful. And it's basically about um, the paraphrase version of a faulty memory is that is about, um, it's, it's a desire not to lose the wonder of the simpleness and the beauty and the majesty of all that God has created um, and not letting the busyness and the, the frenetic um, just chaos of life to allow us to lose the wonder of, of God's creation and, and who he is and so forth. So I'm thinking about that and I think I'm going to write something related to that, but how do I want to word it? Um, don't lose your wonder. So even in the midst of all of this, I don't want to lose my wonder. How about that? That looks good to me. Okay, and because it's December and I love stickers, we're going to decorate this page a little bit. So let's pull out up here. 
I've got some washi to choose from. So we have peace on earth. We've got some Christmas trees. Let's try, we've got some dots. Lord knows if we're gonna get snow, but I always love the snowflakes. Let's try some up here. Okay. Some down here, maybe we'll frame it top and bottom. And maybe, since I've got all this space down here, I don't anticipate adding anything else to the weeks. Seriously. Okay, let's try this. Actually, hold on, before I even do that, let's check to see which um, stickers we want. Okay, so this has a similar color palette to um, the washi that I've picked. Similar, similar. Um, Like that. Blocks. And poinsettias. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Let's see. The snowflakes. I do like the snowflakes. Okay, so maybe we'll echo the snowflakes. And the washi. Um, that's kind of fun, right? We're not looking for precision here. Just gonna add a little pizzazz to the page. It's so funny because my husband works out in the garage um, fairly often when he has time or energy from work. <laughs> and it reminds me of my dad working out in the garage when I was a kid. Um, I don't know, it's like nostalgic for me. It's kind of fun. And I like knowing that he's enjoying himself, that he's getting to be creative and work on projects that he likes. So I don't mind it at all, except for when I'm trying to record. It's not not the most convenient thing but that's that's what we do we compromise right okay all right that's all we're gonna do we're just gonna we're just gonna leave it simple like that how about that all right guys that is my tending list for december i hope that if you guys hadn't used or didn't use power sheets in 2020 that you will seriously consider using them in 2021. They are the best. I love them so much. And I have a feeling if you don't, if you don't do it, <laughs> I don't want to like guilt trip anyone or anything, but if you don't do it, I feel like you're going to regret it. The reason why I say that is because last year in 2019, when I didn't get them, I regretted it. And by the time I had kind of made that decision to try it, they were already sold out. So, you know, if you're on the fence at all, then you might just want to go for it. <laughs> so anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know um, in the comments below. I look forward to hearing from y'all. In the meantime, I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to y'all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.